In this video, I'm going to uh, go over the Permore Cup. This is their Moon Plus version. They do have another version that's just the Moon Cup. Um, and it is by the Dream Lover Company. Um, this cup can be found on Alibaba and AliExpress, but I purchased mine on Amazon. Uh, and it's very uh, reminiscent to the V slash cups, and I do say it with a slash only because there is another cup called V cups, which is from India, and that's not the one I'm talking about. So if you're curious about this cup, stay tuned. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. So I did do an unboxing of this cup. Um, I think it was around the summer of 2016. I am going to leave the, that to video at the end of this video. I actually uh, can't find the pamphlet that uh, came with this cup. So hopefully it's in that video if you are curious about uh, the pamphlet. Any websites, links, and discounts that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, share, and don't forget to subscribe. So again, I did want to come back to this cup because I have had a few people ask me about V slash cups, and I do not own a V slash cup. Uh, I did think about purchasing one. Um, but it is kind of pricey for me and I did purchase this one uh, um, last year and it is the same shape and even the packaging is very similar. Um, and mine was under $20. I think if you search Amazon for Permore, um, it is like 18 something and if you search uh, a listing for Dream Lover Menstrual Cup, uh, their uh, cup set is uh, 16 something. So um, the V cups being 30 some odd dollars was just a little bit uh, too much. I don't know if they have a different kind of silicone or what. Um, again, I do not have that cup on hand. I'm going to do a turnaround of this box and you can pause anything if you need to. Um, I do have a picture that my buddy sent me of the uh, V cups back of their box. So I'm going to pause it here or I'm going to stop here, push this to the side and go ahead and enter the picture of the V cups. And uh, you can pause that if you need to, but there are some similarities between these two boxes. Here is the other side of the box. And there's not much else to see, so there's a little label on this side and there's a little uh, quote on this side. Here are the two cups that I received, um, and I did say that you can purchase these on Alibaba and AliExpress, and they have a, a variety of colors that you can choose from, but when I purchased this on Amazon from the Paramore company, they only, or the Paramore listing, sorry, uh, they only had this green color, and I liked it because it looked like it glowed in the dark. Um, I actually lifted it to my eye, and no, it does not glow. I believe the Dream Lover um, listing on Amazon only has a pink cup and also the V slash cups offer it in pink. So you do receive a small and a large and I'm going to go ahead and grab the large and put the rest of this aside and just kind of talk about the the overall of the cup. So it does have a stick style stem and it's flimsy in all directions. It's pretty stretchy. Uh, it stops right about there and it kind of reminds me of a lunette uh, meets a love your body cup. There are three grip rings on the stem, but when I do pull it, those grip rings kind of just mesh into the silicone, uh, and so they don't really help me grasp onto that stem very well. There's not a whole bunch of meat between the bowl of the cup and the actual stem, so if you do have this cup and you need to trim the stem, I would leave a little nub of it so that you don't accidentally cut right into the cup itself. There are three grip rings at the base of this cup. They're rounded and they're not too pronounced off of uh, the cup itself. Kind of gives a muted sound when I uh, scratch my nail over it. 
the silicone on this cup is kind of slippery so if I put, pinch my fingers on the cup and you can see my fingers turning white so I am putting a good amount of pressure and I pull my fingers slide pretty quickly over this cup there are two air holes one is here and one is right behind um, I would consider these pin holes there are two seams on this cup. It's a three-part mold, so there is a, a seam that goes from this side of the cup up and around the stem and back down the other side. And then there is a seam at the top of the rim, and you can see it pretty well. It's not finished off very nicely. You can see that it's uh, quite jagged. Uh, and when I put my fingertips on this this seam uh, and move it back and forth, I can feel the silicone just rocking under my fingers. There's no other markings on or inside of this menstrual cup. When I first saw this cup on Alibaba or AliExpress, uh, the certificates that were shown there were actually for a sex toy and not the cup itself. According to the box, this is made of hi the highest quality healthcare grade silicone. And uh, I couldn't tell you exactly uh, if that is true or not. However, I am a little bit concerned because when I pulled on the stem to see how stretchy it was, uh, the silicone turned white. And I hope you can see that with this back uh, block black backdrop um, but it is opaque it's a milky white and you can't see through it uh, I can press my finger into the cup and it also turns white and maybe you think that's my nail uh, so here is a purple capped um, pen and you can see that it's purple right through the cup but if I push it anymore it turns white the concern that I have about it turning white is that after doing um, some research, reading on Google and blogs and forums, websites, uh, Wikipedia, just kind of trying to dig deep about why a silicone would be turning white, um, they did state that people, even with the food grade silicone, um, were doing these stress tests, pinching it and twisting it and, and stretching it um, to see if their silicones were turning white. And that was one of the indications that fillers had been added to a particular silicone. Um, now, not all of the lower grade silicones will turn white, um, but this is one of the indications in some of the silicones. Having these fillers in silicones, uh, they could be toxic. Some of them are toxic to your body. They're not made to be inserted into your body. Uh, they're, some of them are not meant to be exposed to high temperatures. So if you're boiling your menstrual cup and it has fillers in it, it could be leaching out of the cup. According to the research that I did, food grade silicone also has a low and a high grade and uh, no silicone should turn white like that if it's a high grade silicone. I personally couldn't get this cup to open up for me very easily. Uh, this dip right here just kind of made it harder for me to get it to pop open. The rim is softer than the body and usually I don't have any problems with the soft rims but this one just didn't. Um, it, it just wasn't easy for me. However, my daughter did use it and actually liked it. Uh, she used it for a few months on and off. Uh, it didn't have the capacity that she wanted, so she was swapping out with another menstrual cup um, and just kind of, you know, using them back and forth. Uh, but after I did my research, I did advise her to stop using this menstrual cup. Um, and there are other menstrual cups that I refuse to allow her to use anyhow. Although this menstrual cup has some uh, firmness to it and it feels like a good thickness between the silicone, uh, having it in my fingers, one inside and one outside, it feels like a, a pretty well-made cup besides maybe that jagged uh, seam there or the unfinished seams. But uh, 
knowing or reading all of that information, and even if you don't believe it, I do believe it. Um, it's my opinion. I understand you have your own opinion. And a lot of people say that, you know, they use their cheapies for a couple of years and it's just fine. They boil it and it seems fine. Um, and that is fine for you. It's your money. It's your body. It's your decision. Um, and these are our decisions uh, to not use this. Who knows what kind of fillers were included in any type of cheapy cup and who knows um, what the prolonged use is. Even though you don't see something after a year or two years, uh, it could be five years down the road or ten years down the road. If you have cheapies and knockoff cups, I'm, I'm not going to uh, say that you're a bad person for using it, but I do want you to have some information about it uh, for your own safety. And, you know, you can take that information and do whatever you want with it. Uh, at least I have peace of mind that it is out there. Well, that's all I have for now about the Paramore Cup. If I missed anything or if you had additional questions, you can go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Also, let me know if you did purchase a Paramore Cup or the Dream Lover Cup or even uh, one of the V Slash Cups or won it in one of their giveaways. Let me know how this little dip um, works out for you or if you had problems like I did getting that to open. Until I see you next time. Take care.